Welcome to Clodagh's Fall Suppers. I think we all really love a hearty, wholesome soup at this time of the year. And butternut squash is in season, so I've decided to make a coconut and butternut squash soup. I'm spicing it up with beautiful cumin and garam masala, and then I'm gonna garnish it with coconut flakes and pumpkin seeds. It's really, really yummy. It's a chilly day outside, so let's get making this soup. So you don't actually need too many ingredients for this soup. You need butternut squash, onions, garlic, garam masala, cumin, good quality butter, and coconut milk. And then I've got my broth on simmering away. And then when I'm finished making it, I'm gonna garnish it with coconut flakes and pumpkin seeds. So start off by prepping all your vegetables. Um, peel your butternut squash and chop it into small little chunks. Then dice up your onion, crush up your garlic, and we'll get those on simmering with it, some lovely butter. And then we're gonna add in the spices. So dice up your onions. And I always keep the roots of the onions for my broth and just keep adding to it as the day goes on. And then crush up your garlic. And we're gonna cook that in the lovely butter with the butternut squash and the onions. So the onions are prepped, the garlic is prepped, the butternut squash. So I'm gonna take everything over along with the spices and the butter. I'm gonna bring it all over the side my hob. Get a nice big saucepan or casserole dish over a low heat and get some good quality butter like Kerrygold because I want to caramelize up all the butternut squash and the onions and the garlic together and really intensify all that flavour. So the great thing about making soups is that they translate so easily into batch cooking. So when you come home from work, you've got a lovely, nutritious, wholesome supper that you've made for yourself. Got my onions in here, my garlic, all wrapped in that beautiful Kerrygold Irish butter. And then next I'm adding in a large teaspoon of garam masala, which I love, and also ground cumin, which I equally love. A sprinkle of good quality sea salt flakes, and some pepper. I use sea pepper, which is made from seaweed, but, and if you can get it, it's fantastic and very good for you. Um, otherwise, use freshly ground black pepper. So give these a really good stir. And what, the most important thing when you're making a soup is this part here and the broth that you're using too. So you want to intensify the flavors here as much as possible. So you want to sweat this until the butternut squash is completely cooked and that will make such a difference to the flavor of your soup at the end of the day. So cover it off. So I've mentioned the importance of a really good quality broth or stock. Um, I've made it and I have all the recipe for it in my video for my summer chicken casserole. So head over there and have a look at how I've made the broth because it's so easy to make and it makes such a difference to your soup. Every once in a while, it's a good idea to come back and check on it to make sure it's not burning and give it a good stir. If you find that it is starting to stick to the bottom, or even if it's just beginning to burn, what you do is put the lid on, take it off the heat, don't touch it for about five minutes, and the steam will naturally lift off all of the bits that have stuck to the bottom. I mean, I can smell all those spices getting really intense. Now, come here and have a good look in here. This is exactly what you want. You want it to be cooked down, like the flavors are so intense. And this step, I promise you, makes the difference of a nice soup and a wow soup. Sweating it down, getting the intense flavors from the very beginning here. And next, what I'm gonna do is ladle my beautiful broth or stock, and we're gonna bring it to the boil. And so I've just added in the coconut milk, which adds gorgeous creaminess and exotic flavor and a little bit of sunshine on a cloudy day. <laughs> so give it a good stir, then bring it up to the boil, reduce the heat, let it simmer for about five minutes, and then I'm gonna blend it until it's completely smooth, and then the soup is ready to eat. So this should be ready. Just do a little veg check. What I usually do is pop one out onto my lid, and then if it breaks easily, it's done, which it is. 
Oh, the smell of the garam masala and the cumin and the coconut is just divine. So I'm just going to ladle it into the processor. Check. At this point, I'm just going to do a seasoning check and a thickness check. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, the spices. You know what, it actually doesn't need any more salt. The spices are so flavoursome. And the last batch, making sure I get all of those lovely flavours from the bottom of the casserole dish. Oh God, on a chilly day like today, a gorgeous, warming, hearty soup, like packed with spices and creamy coconut. It's just so good. And I've got these raw organic um, coconut flakes I'm going to sprinkle over that just give gorgeous texture and also a really beautiful flavour. And then crunchy pumpkin seeds. Hello fall. Let me give it a taste. Mmm. So delicious. So for the full recipe, it's below and there's also a link as well. And subscribe so that we can notify you when we've got new videos. It is definitely worth making. It's so hearty and spicy and wholesome. Okay, see ya.